that's the front patio. That's the front patio. There's the front door. To the left, there's some stairs that go down here. I don't, I think it probably goes to the garage if you wanted to do that. Uh, but there's another way around. Walk in, as you walk in, there's a coat closet right here on your right. Small coat closet. Sliding glass door out to that patio that we just saw. Good sized front patio, lots of shade. I guess there's a patio roof and then uh, there's a lot of trees here. It's kind of nestled back in the woods. It's like a fireplace that's at least gas. Wood floors, this is the main room here. Kind of a dining area. And there's the kitchen. Kind of a little breakfast bar there with the sink. This is a bank owned property, so it definitely needs a little bit of work. Could be that, you know, put a little bit of money into it before you move in and it'll be ready to go for you. Down the hallway on the left here is the bathroom, first bathroom, standard bathroom. Sorry about that. There's the mirror. It's also got a uh, medicine cabinet there. So out of the bathroom, hallway light fixture. Although the listing says that it only has central heat, there's the AC. Uh, thermostat and I check the AC and it does work. There's your furnace just to the left of the in the hallway here. Stackable washer dryer area. I believe they said this would be included in the purchase. I don't know if it works. Probably does. If you go to, there's three bedrooms in this place. Here's the first of three. Small bedroom. You can use for storage, anything. Um, no closet doors there. To the right here, we'll go into the next bedroom. A little bit bigger, and it's got a good sized door on it which is unusual, but it's kind of nice. Try to get the whole picture for you. I know it's hard on this small camera. Okay. And then we head into the master bedroom, with, which definitely needs new carpet. As you can see, this is a bank owned property and when people get foreclosed on, oftentimes they just don't care and they really trash the place. So the master definitely needs new carpet, um, but it is a good size. There's a window out there going out into the uh, parking area where the garages are. There's a, that's a pretty small closet right there. However, there is another closet over here in the bathroom. There's your bathroom. Older countertops. I don't know, you know, if countertops and upgrades matter to you guys, but if you really wanted to, you know, you can always put some money into it before you move in. And then here's the 
actual bathroom area. There is a heat lamp up there. That's what that red was just a second ago. Then you've got the shower tub. Looks like it needs cleaned. But again, this is a bank owned property and oftentimes people don't care too much about them. Okay, and then here's that other closet I was telling you about. Sliding closet doors. And it goes back just a little bit there. Not huge, but given that there's another closet, small closet, plus uh, extra bedroom, three bedrooms, you know, maybe that'd be enough storage. I'm not sure. Um... Give you a view walking out of the master bedroom so you can see the bedroom here on your left that's the larger of the two there's the other one laundry on your right down the hall you can see the patio door out there to your right here you've got that bathroom storage here didn't point that out earlier looks like a linen closet nice open um, living area out here and then you can see again there's the kitchen and then really nice patio now if you I don't think you could keep your dog there maybe if you made it more secure well Maybe it's kind of a big dog, it can't get out. I'm not sure. But there you have it. Hopefully this was a helpful video for you guys.